What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Meet the Teats. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on today's video. You guys, I just got in from a walk slash run and y'all, as you can see, your girl is glistening, okay? Um, I am so hot right now. I literally just walked in the door. I just like, I gotta get to the camera. I gotta tell you guys about what I experienced, what happened to me on this walk slash run, you guys. It was amazing and I'm so happy and I can't wait to tell y'all okay but before we do that go ahead and click that subscribe button hit our notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our wellness Wednesdays any of our moving Mondays any of our uploads period like make sure you are subscribed and you have your bell on okay now let me go get some water because your girl is dying of thirst okay I'll be right back you guys so I have to get my water with my scoop of gut love probiotic but you guys let me explain to you or let me tell you what happened on my walk today so I started walking this morning and um I had walked yesterday a little bit maybe two two and a half miles yesterday and I was like okay I'm gonna do it again this morning so I got up got dressed you know um and and hit hit the pavement and I realized about about 10 minutes in, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna jog a little bit. So I would jog a block and then I would walk a block, jog a block, walk a block, you know, kind of like that. So going back and forth and I got tired <laughs> and I was like, okay, it's, need to, it's time for me to turn back around and go, to go back home. So I was on my way home. I was like, I'm just gonna walk home, okay? Cause I did enough jogging for the day. And this lady, was coming up behind me and she was jogging. Now this woman, she was a lot older than me. Um, I'm not gonna say her age because I don't know her age, but she was a lot older than me and she was jogging and I could tell she was jogging long distance nonstop. And immediately, immediately you guys, in my brain, in my head, my mind, I was like, nah, I could never do that. Like I, I could never, run long distance and I immediately started thinking about the time where I could run long, could run, run long distance and I remember I was a lot smaller than what I am today. I used to be able to run four miles, five miles nonstop, okay? About about seven years or so ago. Or five, five, seven, five years ago, I don't know. But I was able to do that and I immediately thought about that time and how great I felt and how wonderful it was to run long distance and my mind said, no, Melissa, nah, you can't do that no more. That is no longer you, okay? Your knees can't take it, your legs can't take it, your hips can't take it, and your body just can't do it. So I was like, good for her. Good for her that she can do that at her, at her age. And I was walking a little bit more, a little bit more, and you know what? I thought, and I said, you know what, Melissa? I'm not gonna listen to that voice in my head, okay? I'm not gonna listen to that. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it. And I prayed a little prayer, and I was like, Lord, your word says that I can do all things through Christ Jesus that gives me strength, okay? And I said, I'm gonna need your strength. If I'm gonna jog a long distance, probably jog back to my apartment, or jog to this corner, or jog to this stop sign, I'm gonna need your strength, okay? And the Bible says I can do all things, and that includes jogging. So, I put one step in front of the other, and I started jogging. And I, I set a small goal. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it to this corner. That was about two blocks away. I made it to the corner, and I, was like okay should i keep going should i stop should i keep going and i kept going and i said okay i'm gonna make it to the stop sign i kept jogging okay well i'm gonna make it to the little creek thing i kept jogging and i said hold up wait a minute 
I'm about to jog all the way back to my apartment because I'm, I'm super close to my apartment. So I kept jogging, you guys, and I kept putting one foot in front of the other, and I made it back to my apartment. I want to encourage you, okay, and say those small voices in your mind that saying that you cannot do it, that you're too big, or you're not in enough shape to do that, or you can't wear that, or you can't do that because of the weight, because of your weight, because of what you look like, because of whatever it may be. I want to let you know if it is in the will of God, I'm always going to say that if it's in the will of God, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, the Bible says that you are more than a conqueror. And I was reciting that to myself. I was like, I am not going to allow this to conquer me. Because I am more than a conqueror. Yes, my legs is tired. Yes, my ankles are starting to hurt a little bit. But I am more than a conqueror. I can make it back to my apartment without stopping. First thing I had to do, I had to get this right. I had to get this right. My mind had to get it right. My body was able to do it. Okay, with no doubt, but my mind, my what I was thinking was limiting what I thought my body could do. Okay, my body was like straight, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I'm a little achy, a little pain, a little sore. My body was straight, and my body is going to still be straight, you know. But my mind is what was blocking me from pursuing um, that goal that I wanted to achieve. So, first things first, you guys. You got to get your mind right. If you're on a journey to better health, if you're on a journey to better finances, on a journey to whatever you are on, you got to get this right first. If, you, if your mind is right, your body will follow. And then secondly, I want to encourage you is set small goals. I, the first goal I set was to get to the corner, okay? And then the second goal I set was to get to the stop sign, and then to the creek, and then the next thing I knew, I was at my apartment. So even if that means that you have to get out there and walk or get on the treadmill for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or walk around the block three times, set a small goal. And then once you got that goal down pack, then you extend your goal a little bit further. So maybe instead of walking th uh, three times around the block, walk four times around the block, okay? And keep pushing yourself, pushing yourself, and next thing you know, you will be going full throttle. You guys, I was so encouraged today with this walk jog. I was so encouraged, I just thank the Lord for allowing me to see that and be motivated by that that um, that older woman jogging past me, you know? And another thing I wanna mention is number three is keep your head up. You know, as I was jogging, I was kind of pacing my breathing, breathing my mouth through, through my nose out my mouth. I was doing that. And I noticed when I was getting tired, getting weary, I was, I put my head down. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put my head up. I'm going to lift my head up. Because I need to see where I'm going. I need to see my, my goal, my destination. And when my head is down, all I can see is my feet. All I can see is the ground and I can get really defeated. You know, but when you are on this journey, when you're on a journey to better health, you gotta look forward. You can't get stuck in where you are, where your feet is at currently, where you are currently. You gotta keep facing forward and having your eye, I wanna say on the prize, but keep your eye on your goal, okay? And that's what I did and I truly believe that's one of the reasons why I was able to run that far. And I haven't ran that far in a long time, y'all. So I know if my body can do that, my body can do that again, you know? And I'm gonna keep pushing myself to run further and further and further. So next thing you know, I'm running two miles without stopping um, and three miles without stopping and I'm back to my four miles without stopping. I'm telling you, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna get done, you know? So you guys, I just wanted to come on here and encourage y'all with that, you know? And you know, I wanna be open and transparent with you guys when I'm getting, um, 
you know aha moments or I'm, I'm getting motivation and things like that I want to share that with you so that you can be motivated as well all right so thank y'all so much for tuning in to another wellness Wednesday be sure to come back next Wednesday and also check out our Monday videos where we talk about all things all things moving to Dallas and things like that um, so be sure to check out those videos and I'll see y'all on the next one bye y'all